For those of you wanting to just get started with getting your baby on his or her tummy, this is the video for you. In these film clips, we're going to show babies enjoying and being challenged by being on their tummy. Another thing to consider when you're saying, why do tummy time, I think a lot of times parents will say, so the baby's off the back of their head. But if you think about that realistically, for an eight week old, they might be doing 15 or 20 minutes a day. That amount of time off the back of their head is not really substantial. What is substantial is the strength that your baby is gaining by being put into different positions, the tummy being a very important one. Then, when your baby is on their back, they are not as likely to nestle into one position because they've been on their tummy, they've gained more strength, so then when they're on their back, they can independently position their head more easily. From a strictly physical standpoint, a baby on his tummy is building functional strength. That's much different than when you stand a baby up and they have a lot of extensor strength. A baby on their tummy who is lifting their head and their shoulders up is developing functional strength, they're developing endurance, they're getting ready to explore their environment independently. As a parent, you are your baby's first teacher and helping them be on their tummy comfortably is part of what you're teaching them. And our goal is to equip you and to help you gain confidence in that role. We also hope that you see the potential for joy and bonding as you help your baby learn to be on his or her tummy. Let's go. So here's Iris. She's been on her tummy now for over five minutes and she's starting to get a little bit tired, but I'd still like her to do a little bit more time on her tummy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll her onto her back and just give her a very short little break and then roll her back over again. It's just kind of a little refreshment for the baby. So that's one way to extend out tummy time is just roll the baby off Say, hi, how you doing? And roll them back onto their tummy. She's getting very interested in moving her bottom up. She looks like she's starting to think about rolling over. Um, another way is to roll up a little towel and put it right under where the baby is, just to give them a little extra support. And there's a lot of variations, and you'll find what works best for your baby. And what works well this week might not work next week as your baby gets stronger. So you can do something very little, which for Iris, she doesn't really seem to like. The other is to do something a little bit bigger. Babies tend to like it when this is very firm versus when it's very squishy. This is, in general, much squishier, and the babies don't seem to like it as much as they like something wrapped very firm. Another variation is something really big like the boppy pillow. There we go. This tends to work well during the first eight weeks or so. Most babies are okay with being on their tummy. I think what it is is they're not really as aware yet. Somewhere around seven or eight weeks, the baby starts to get much more visually aware. So when they're on their tummy, they can't look around as much as they would like and so they might get a little bit more restless. So to help them through that phase, bringing out some mirrors um, can be very, very helpful. Now Iris has already been on her tummy for quite some time, so we'll lift her up and give her a short break as well. Another way to incorporate tummy time into your baby's routine is to put her up onto your chest. That said, this really wouldn't count as tummy time. Your baby's more or less upright. So for it to really count as being some tummy time, if you're relaxing on the sofa or on your bed and you're down, notice how her back is more in a flattened position. If I get myself in a good position too, she and I can look at each other. And that's part of the fun of this position, is that she's looking and we're having fun looking at each other. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Oh, God bless you. Oh, that was it, no more sneezes. But she's having a nice time and it's a nice comfortable way for me as well.
So here's some more options for tummy time. Um, if your baby is in daycare, usually daycares are very amenable to doing tummy time with your babies and you can show them some ways that would be fun. So one thing is they could have a couple of babies all together and then taking a toy like this and sending it across. And sometimes with the right toy, you can get the baby's attention. Ashley, will you get the elephant? And we'll put him up here too. And then, yeah. So Emmy got it, and then look, there's me come on back. There! So, part of what you notice in a really young infant is this is just such a normal, natural way for her to start building up more trunk control. So her, at this point, she's still pretty flat all in through here, and she's lifting up just her head. It's a very, very normal way to be developing. As she gets older, you're gonna notice her head coming up more and there being more of an arching in her back from um, all the way down at her tailbone on up. There we go. And so at daycare, you can ask them too. They can have more than one baby at a time. Um, Iris has her head down, and um, Ellie has her head down a little bit too, and that's fine. Yeah. And so um, both. Um, so Allie is on a flat surface. Once she starts to get overly frustrated, we could roll her onto her back and roll her back onto her tummy again. Or we could add in um, having her up on a rolled up cloth or um, a receiving blanket or something as high as the um, boppy pillow to help her out. But this is beautiful how she is right now. Some more options for doing tummy time are on your lap. And so I'm just going to roll Iris right on over to her tummy. Here she goes. When my knees are straight, it's a more challenging position for her. If I cross my legs, she's on more of an incline, and this makes it a little bit easier for her. This is also a nice way to burp. So you can start to build tummy time into just your daily routines. It doesn't need to be, nor should it be, just something you do once a day. It should be just part and parcel of your routines with your baby. Initially, she was resting her head down. That's fine. Now she's found something that she's interested in, and she's looking around a little bit more. It can also be a nice time to do some tracking. And again, that black and white is very interesting to most babies. And so you can just move it slowly back and forth. And there she comes. Yeah. Most people read their babies a book every day, and this is a nice way to do that. You can go ahead and read a book while your baby's on their tummy. There's a lot of variations on this, too. She could be up in the boppy and you're laying down next to her. It's a very nice way to, again, just make tummy time part of a baby's everyday routines. If she starts to get restless, you can jostle her just a little bit, you can pad her, and calm her. And notice she's awake the whole time. We're not having her sleep on her tummy because that's not safe. But she's awake and she's quiet and she's doing very, very well. If you notice that she always wants to have her head in a certain direction, 
just gently show her, kind of lift her very, very gently and show her the other way. So she's aware that there's both sides there. In addition to being on her side, you can also place baby on her tummy while she's here. If your baby tends to spit up a lot, it's okay. You can just put a burp cloth underneath them to allow for some spit up. If you try to time your tummy time perfectly all the time by first feeding, then setting your baby up, um, um, and then getting all systems go, you might end up not doing a whole lot of tummy time. So it's fine if your baby does spit up a lot, just go ahead and put a burp cloth under them and to a certain degree that can help her out a lot. I hope it was helpful to see our babies. There's one additional position that I want to be sure you know about, and that is just to simply carry your baby on his or her tummy. If they need a little additional head support, you can come in on their forehead and gently hold them there. Now let's talk about when should you put your baby on his or her tummy and how much time do they need. You should do tummy time when your baby is awake. Don't wait for the perfect time. Incorporate it into your baby's routines. A minimum for an eight-week-old would be 15 minutes. For a four-month-old, it needs to be built up to about 80 minutes a day. There's good research showing that a baby who is doing 80 minutes a day of tummy time by four months of age has better development than those that are not doing that. Watch the baby's cues. Before she becomes completely upset, change it up with a little distraction or rotisserizing or patting the ground near her or varying the position but keeping her on her tummy. Also keep in mind the overall floor time that your baby needs when they're awake. So for an eight week old or a two month old, you've got about 15 minutes a day minimum on their tummy, but they need about two hours total between tummy, sides, and some time on their back. For a four month old, you wanna build that total number up to about four hours, of which a minimum would be 80 minutes on his or her tummy. You can also include in that time, the time when your baby first awakens, which is multiple times a day when they're in their crib and they're awake on their back. 